If you're visiting Italy this year, make sure you watch this video before planning your trip. Italy is the most beautiful country in the world, known for its rich history, stunning art, delicious cuisine, and breathtaking landscapes. Italy deserves to be on your travel bucket list. Hi, I'm Pri. I'm an international student. I have been living and traveling in Italy for two years. In this video, I'll be sharing all my best tips and tricks specifically tailored towards first timers. The most important question is when to visit Italy. July and August are the most crowded months. Everybody is trying to visit Italy at that time. So try to avoid these months. People working in Italy get few days off in the month of August, which are called as ferie. So even Italians go on vacations during this period. Prices are also pretty high in the month of July and August. I would recommend June or September. The weather is pleasant and the places are less crowded. You can also have a good time during spring and fall. Felice! <laughs> if you can handle cold, then winter season can also be a good idea. Trust me when I say this, Italy does have it all. There's something here for everyone. And this country is beautiful all around the year. If you're overwhelmed and confused about where to travel in Italy, I've got you covered. Italy is a small country with 20 regions which are extremely diverse. Everything from the people, the food, the landscape, even the language is a bit different. And that's what makes Italy so special. Now let me make things easy for you. Cities like Rome, Florence, Milan are popular destinations in Italy. All these cities have rich history and are famous for their architecture and uniqueness. Italian coastline is famous all around the world from Amalfi Coast to Puglia to Sardinia. Spending a summer on the Italian coast should definitely be on your bucket list. If you're a mountain person, then Italy has something for you as well. You can visit the infamous Dolomiti or visit the underrated region of Abruzzo. A few moments later. Now here are some Italy travel tips for transport and getting around. When you are in Italy, you can easily move from city to city by using public transports like trains and buses. It's easy and a convenient option. You don't necessarily need to rent a car. But if you want to explore some underrated places, I suggest you to do a road trip in Italy. It will help you expand your Italy itinerary beyond the most famous Massis. As I've mentioned before, Italy has so much to offer. My suggestion is, when you're traveling to Rome, Florence, Venice, make sure you add some neighboring towns to your travel list. For example, if you're visiting Rome, you can do a day trip to Lake Posta Febreno. Or you can also visit Orvieto or even Ostia. Trust me, Italian landscapes will never disappoint you. When it comes to traveling within a city, for example Rome, you can take the subway. The ticket will cost you 1 euro and 50 cents. It is one of the most efficient way to travel in Rome. Numero uno. While booking for accommodation, always book in advance. Italy is a world famous tourist destination and traveling is an expensive hobby. Booking your accommodation in advance will definitely save you some money and you'll always get the best deal. 
numero 2 if you're planning to visit rome naples milan or torino my suggestion is if you're looking for a comparatively cheaper deal get an accommodation near any metro station all these cities are well connected by subway if you're liking this video do hit that like button and for more travel related videos do subscribe to my channel for all the first timers traveling to Italy, this tip is for you. A tobacco shop is a small convenience store where you can obviously buy some cigarettes, but it is also the best place to buy tickets for public transport. Buses and trams in Italy do not sell tickets on board. You can also use the same tickets for metros. So I would suggest you to visit a tobacco shop on your first day in Italy and buy tickets in bulk. Now, when it comes to traveling from city to city, I would suggest you to book your train tickets in advance. Italian train stations can be overwhelming and a bit chaotic. So don't buy tickets at the train station. Save yourself from that stress and buy your train tickets in advance. It's time to talk about food and drinks. Don't eat at restaurants that are near touristy areas. There is a high possibility of the food being mediocre. If you're looking for real, authentic Italian food, you just have to do some basic research and read some reviews. Italy is full of underrated food joints. Do not waste your time standing in big lines. Especially when it comes to food. You must have heard about the infamous Al Antico Vinayo in Firenze. People wait for more than 40 minutes to get themselves a delicious panini. But what if I tell you, you can find fresh paninis which are equally delicious in almost every salumeria or elementari. Salumeria is a place where you get fresh produce at a reasonable price. As you know, Italy has 20 regions and all regions are pretty diverse and so is their food. For example, when you're in Rome, go with pasta carbonara or amatriciana. When you're in Puglia, you have to try seafood. When in Napoli, you have to get a pizza margarita. This is one of the most important tips. If you want to visit a specific restaurant, make reservations in advance, especially when it's a popular restaurant. In Italy, you will still find some old school bars or trattoria where they only accept cash payments. When you have to buy gelato or when you have to use public toilets or when you're getting 1 euro souvenirs, you need to have some cash, especially coins. So don't forget to save all your coins in a pouch or a fanny pack. Book your tickets in advance. This will save you so much time. Sometimes in peak season, the most popular attractions can usually sell out. So it's advisable to buy your tickets in advance. Don't forget to bring a pair of your most comfortable shoes. You'll be doing a lot of walking on cobblestone streets and uneven terrain. So opt for shoes that provide comfort. I know you're on your vacation, but try to wake up as early as you can. If you're visiting tourist destinations like Fontana di Trevi, Colosseo or Duomo di Firenze, if you want to have the best experience with less crowd, go there early. Beware of pickpockets. Like any other tourist destination, be vigilant of your belongings especially when you're in crowded areas. Keep your cash and passport safe. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the coolest metro station in Rome. This metro station is a museum. Rome is so unreal.
Italy offers vibrant night scenes especially in major cities like Rome, Florence and Milan. Don't forget to experience the charm and beauty of Italy at night. The city has a different kind of vibe. I hope this list of Italy travel tips was helpful. If you like to watch travel videos which are practical and to the point just like this one, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure you leave a comment. So that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one.